Hello and welcome to tutorial 78 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're looking at this on YouTube, then please visit markplex.com. That's M A R K P L E X dot com, where there are several tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. So today's tutorial, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how you could change the background color of a cell in radar screen. So it changes from one color to another, then back to the original color. And this is an excuse to do a very simple demonstration of the timer. And then having done that, what I'm going to do for Gold Pass members, I'm going to talk a little bit more about designer generated code. And that is the code that TradeStation automatically generates when we use a tool from the toolbox. And I'm also going to provide for Gold Pass members this program so they can uh, copy and use it themselves. OK, so I've already created a show me study, which is applied to radar screen, and that is currently empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Trade Station development environment, the TDE, and I'm going to click here on Toolbox, then I'm going to double click on the timer. And you see the timer here at the bottom. I'm going to look at the properties. So I'm going to click on this little property icon here. Uh, interval, well, first of all, the name of the timer, timer two. Uh, interval thousand that means a thousand milliseconds that means this timer is going to auto reset in this case because we've got auto reset set to true every thousand milliseconds every second and then in terms of enable this is set to false what I'm going to do is create an input for the uh, enable I'm going to call it input say uh, bool and we're going to say start time uh, and I'm going to set this to false initially. And now if we go back to our properties and uh, click this little down arrow here, you'll see that we can select that input. OK, having done that, we're going to click on the events and I'm going to double click on the elapsed space here. And you'll see that that creates some additional code in our program. and. Uh, what this is essentially doing is saying every time the timer elapses, we're going to run some specific code. What we're going to do is we're going to put in our little plot statement. So we're going to say plot one, close. And let's just make it blue to start with. And then what we're going to do is change the background color. So we're going to say if get plot BG color for plot one equals green, then set plot BG color for plot one. I'm going to make it white. Else, in other words, if the uh, background color is not green, it's actually white, then we're going to set it to green. So we're going to say set plot. BG color one to green, like so. So just need to check our syntax there. It looks fine. So I'm going to press the verify button. We'll press F3, and uh, we can now go to the radar screen. Now what we need to do is we need to set the input. So I'm just going to click on all analysis techniques. Then I'm going to double click on tutorial 78. Start timer currently set to false. Going to set it to true. Going to say OK. And we should start to see those uh, cells changing background color. You'll notice that some of these update. The background goes blue for an instant and then it goes back to the the green or the white. So now each of these lines is actually an independent timer. So if we were to add a new symbol here, for instance, uh, Agilent Technologies, you'll see now that that is out of sync with the rest of them. And uh, also, if we wanted to get rid of that little blue appearing, we can uh, we can also do that just by adding a little bit of 
code outside of our timer. It's going to copy that. Then what I'm going to do here is if it's green, I'm going to make it green. And if it's white, or rather otherwise, we're going to make it white. So if we verify the program now and go back to the radar screen, we should see that when those symbols update, we'll no longer no longer get that blue appearance. What you might like to do, instead of using one of the uh, standard colors, is to use something else, and that is to use the uh, syntax where we have RGB, and then we have the three component colors, red, green, and blue. Now, I happen to know the color I want is this color here, and I'm just going to uh, also change that down here. Okay, we need to make sure that we've got two brackets to the right here, and uh, F3 it should be okay, and I happen to know that that color is the, uh, the Markplex blue. However, if you didn't know, one way of finding out uh, what your colors are in radar screen would be to click on format page click on other and then you can select colors here and uh, when you've done found a color and a shade of a color that you like then you can see you've got the red the green and the blue components you just make a note of those numbers and use those in your program okay so what i'm going to do for gold pass members is as i mentioned talk a little bit more about designer generated code and then also gold pass members will be able to copy and paste this program so they can experiment with it themselves. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful.